Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the webinar. My name is Hari Swaminathan. Um, today, we're going to talk about um, the uh, proprietary options uh, systems that, um, that we have at Option Tiger. So all of these systems, if you can see the title slide here, uh, all of these systems gives options traders an edge on every trade. And I'll, it's very important that we have an edge on every trade. There's a very big, a very important reason for that. And so um, the systems that we're going to talk about today uh, is something that will give you an edge. Uh, you know, no system can be 100% perfect. However, what we're talking about is uh, we're talking about methods. How do you approach uh, certain trades, certain strategies, especially with options, as we know, uh, in the options market, we are dealing with the market maker. So this is very different from the stock market. We'll cover that. And this is, and this is the reason that we need an edge. Uh, and so whenever you place trades, you want to make sure that you have some kind of an edge in the trade. If you just place a trade arbitrarily, just like, uh, you know, you, it doesn't matter if it's a calendar or an iron condor or a debit spread or a credit spread. If you simply place a trade and then uh, don't think about how you can get an edge from that trade, um, most likely, or at least statistically, over you know over ten trades, you'll find yourself losing more more times than winning. So uh, you know that's what we're going to talk about. We you know this edge is very important, and how do we get this edge? All right, so let's get right into it. My name is uh, Hari Swaminathan. I'm the founder of uh, OptionTiger.com. Uh, I've been an options trader for about eight, nine years now, and um, I have an ebook as well on the top seven mistakes. Uh, you can pick it up. It's a it's a free ebook. I have a bachelor's degree in engineering India, uh, you know, from India, and I have an MBA from Columbia Business School in New York. Now, on this webinar, I just want to give a quick overview of Option Tiger. Um, Option Tiger, as you know, as you may know, you might you may have seen the website. Uh, we have a lot of options education. Actually, this is very critical uh, and very cutting edge education, if I may say so myself. Um, it uh, can take you from a beginner to a, a very advanced levels. And then we also have these proprietary strategies or proprietary trading systems, all of which uh, give you a pretty significant edge in the options market. Uh, I mentioned I have about eight, nine years of options trading experience. And anybody that has gone through options uh, will find the first couple of years fairly challenging, fairly frustrating. And it, it was no different with me. Um, many things I've learned are by making mistakes. Um, many things I've learned by trying to really get deep into the market structure itself, which reveals a lot of things about options. Uh, and so a lot of this, it's all coming from personal experience. And when you say personal experience, when you learn by mistakes, it goes without saying that you learn by losing money. And so, you know, that's very, very, it's very critical to not lose too much money when you're learning, when you're in the learning curve. And unfortunately, you are, we are going to lose money in the beginning. We are, but, but, but the trick is to keep those losses as low as possible because you want to learn the game. Uh, and options trading is a game. Uh, it is a game of skill. It is um, a game of skill that is no different from chess. Uh, it is a game of skill, much higher level of skill is required than poker. Poker has, uh, poker is also a game of skill. However, it has an element of chance to it also. Whereas the options are, are, are entirely a game of skill. So it is no different from chess. So we'll get into some of this also. Um, just a quick thing. Uh, I have Option Tiger has over 400 videos on, on the YouTube channel. I'm also a top 30 Udemy instructor in the financial market space. And some of the systems that we'll be talking about today, uh, the Condor Max trading system, the Income Max strategies, the Day Trade Max, Swing Trade Max, and Earnings Max. So these are the proprietary systems that we have at Option Tiger at the moment. Uh, we do have a couple of other products that are in the pipeline. One is about weekly options. Uh, then there is uh, a couple of other things coming along. So over the next two, three months, uh, those will be released. And finally, at the end of this webinar, I'll uh, 
also explain um, the offer. Uh, generally, the you know we have a July fourth uh, offer. However, I was out of the country, so um, you know we'll 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 have it this weekend. So this weekend and uh, going into next week. And of course, I'm here to spend as much time as we want, as as is needed on uh, Q and A. So let's get started. And in general, let's talk about the options market. Now, many of you may have quite a bit of experience in the options market. And so some of the stuff uh, you may already be aware of. Um, maybe uh, you have not realized a couple of things, even if you're experienced traders. And if you're a beginner or fairly new, new to options uh, trading, then this is very important information for you. Um, the important thing in the options is, I mean, you know, when you look at the options market, there is one very significant difference between the options market and the stock market. Uh, in the stock market, most of the time, 90%, 95% of the time, uh, you're dealing uh, in a peer-to-peer -peer network. So meaning uh, you have stock trading platforms, whether it's, uh, you know, E-Trade or Charles Schwab or whoever it might be. Uh, if you put in a buy order, uh, the broker tries to match your buy order with a sell order from, uh, you know, from another customer, another trader. Uh, so it's a peer-to-peer -peer system. Whereas in the options market, that is not the case. In the options market, we always, always deal with the market maker. So every one of our trades is not against another trader. It is against a market maker. So this makes the options market no different from a casino. So when we walk into a casino, um, we play against the house. There are very few games where you play against each other. I think poker may be one of them, but most of the games in a casino like blackjack or roulette or, uh, you know, craps or whatever it might be, uh, most games are designed to play, where, you know, are designed where you play against the casino. So the casino is legally allowed to have an edge. And, you know, that's not some earth shattering news. We, knew, we know that. We know that the casino operators have an edge because if they don't have an edge, why would they be in that business? Why would they spend so much money uh, and, uh, you know, creating this uh, fantasy land uh, and giving, all, you know, and having all these entertainment options and all of that if they did not have an edge? Uh, so the fact is they have an edge. And it's no different with the market maker. The market maker is a market maker in the options market for a reason. And that reason is obviously because, uh, you know, the regulators have allowed them to have, a, you know, some kind of an edge. Uh, you know, it, obviously the edge has to be within reason. Otherwise, uh, the, the regulators won't allow it. And, and the same goes for a casino as well. However, they are allowed to have an edge. And so in the options market, the market makers have two ways of, of having that edge. Uh, one is we, we know very clearly they set bid ask prices. So, uh, you know, whenever we make a trade, we have to have, you know, we will face slippage on the bid ask spread. The second way they have an edge is they have considerable flexibility in setting option prices, you know, the way they calculate volatility, uh, the way they set option prices, they have considerable flexibility. And then, you know, they let, obviously the market will have a supply demand uh, dynamic and then it'll go from there. However, they do have considerable flexibility in setting option prices. So with, by these two methods, the market makers have a statistical edge in the long run. Okay, so in the long run, we are talking hundreds, thousands, you know, tens of thousands of trades. The market makers are there, you know, they are there every day and they have deep pockets. So they, you know, even if they have bad days, you know, they can come back and uh, and make that up. No different from a casino. The casino, you know, uh, when we go to a casino, we can have a great day sometimes. Yeah, I mean, you know, you might win a lot of money. However, what you really have to look at is the long run statistical edge. And that, unfortunately, is on the other side, whether uh, whether we are talking about casino operators or the options market market makers. Uh, the uh, statistical edge is on the other side. And that's why, you know, whenever we take trades, uh, we think we are making good trades. And so by definition, that means that the market maker 
uh, is taking a crack, you know crappy trade. So you know, but they still take crappy trades all day and they still win. And you know, you can know if you uh, if anybody's following all these big um, Wall Street uh, banks and uh, trading companies. Trading profits are just skyrocketing for all of these companies, and and so you know they all have proprietary trading desks, which uh, uh, which then creates markets for all of these uh, products, all of these stocks, and um, you know trading has become a very uh, profitable venture for all of these companies. So, net net bottom line is. Uh, we traders face a problem of consistency. And if you've traded options for any length of time, you know that this is true. Um, When we say consistency, meaning, you know, we can have uh, two great trades, three great trades a day, four great trades, or, you know, over a period of a week, we'll have five or six or seven great trades, but one trade will come and it'll, it'll hit you. And when you, and when it hits you, you realize that you give up a lot of the profit, if not all of the profit that you made on the previous trades. And that's the problem. And there's a couple of reasons for this. And all of this is coming from my personal experience, my personal, uh, you know, uh, what do you call studying of what is happening in the options market? What are the mistakes we make? And and, and believe me, we make, you know, a lot of mistakes. We, uh, you know, take off trades at the wrong time. We adjust at the wrong time or we make the wrong kind of adjustment. Uh, then we have transaction costs that, that work against us. So there's a lot of things that are going against us traders uh, when we enter the markets and all of this over the long run uh, over a period of a few months or a year or two it creates a problem of consistency and you know we are constantly fishing also you know today we try some trades tomorrow we try different adjustments so we are what you know what i call in constantly in a fishing mode and so all of this actually works in the favor of the market maker the market makers are never fishing they know exactly they don't even think they 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 are pretty much acting like robots when an order comes in um because you know they look at the greeks they look at their risk numbers they have uh, and and they only go with that so you know they're actually acting pretty robotically and that's really the way to win in the markets um you know we need to we need to be traders uh, need to act just like the market maker, you know, so we have a method, you follow a method, and that is what will put the edge on our side. So, you know, if you look at it as a, you know, they, uh, they say in a casino, the casino has maybe a, a 52, 48 edge, maybe 53, 47. In the options market, if you look at all of these factors, um, I think, you know, although it's not some scientific study or anything, but I think the options market to have, um, you know, the market makers have a much larger edge than than even the casino operators. Now, the only difference is uh, we know how well the casinos do because their assets and whatever, you know, they have is very visible to us. And in the case of market makers, we really can't see how much money they're making, but they are making money. Um, you know, all of these, like I said, these uh, Wall Street uh, companies are all, uh, you know, every quarter they are producing 100 million, 200 million, 300 million, uh, you know, or more than that in, in trading profits. I'm only talking about proprietary trading. So, you know, there's a lot of money they're making, which we can't see. It's, uh, it's, it's, behind, uh, it's, it's, it's behind a firewall. We cannot see it, but they are making a lot of money. So bottom line, you know, we traders need to be need to find a way to be consistent with our trades. And so the only way we can put consistency on our side is we have to have an edge on our side. So just to uh, recap, and then, you know, from my experience also, you know, what I, what I found is, um, you know, t- t- traders need to get away from a fishing mode. So meaning today we put some trade, tomorrow we put another trade, the adjustment strategies are different uh, each day. Uh, you know, that's the kind of fishing that will almost always uh, lead to, uh, you know, lead to losses of some kind. And when I say all, not always losses, you know, what I mean is you, you might win three times, but the fourth time you'll give it back. And, 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 you know, that's then it, you know, it makes no sense because, uh, on the one trade that you have, uh, uh, you know, on the one trade that you lose, you give everything back. And, you know, that frustrates us. And, uh, over the long run, um, this has a very big impact on the performance of, uh, you know, of traders. So, you know, in, in the options market, I've found that 
you know, we all have a few uh, strategies, uh, you know, few strategies that we like to trade. I mean, not everybody is going to trade every option strategy, but, you know, you pick a few strategies to master, you get in deep. And we must always, always realize that every strategy has pluses and minuses. So, and that's really what the market maker's edge is because, you know, the, their edge comes from what we perceive as a, you know, as a minus, you know. And so whenever we put a strategy, we always have to think of how can I neutralize the negatives of this strategy and how can I exploit the positives of, of, of the strategy? So, that's really that's really the key to all the proprietary systems uh, at Option Tiger. Um, about you know three, four, five years ago, I realized that unless you have some way, some some kind of an edge on our side, it's going to be very difficult to have a consistent performance. We have to have a consistent, repeatable systems. We must operate mechanically, just like the market makers do. And then, you know, if once we have that, then we already know what we have to do. If the stock moves in any direction, whether it moves up or whether it moves down, we know what to do. The only decision is when do you pull the trigger? So that's the basic philosophy of all the proprietary trading systems at Option Tiger. It gives you a very significant edge. Uh, I call it a 75%. Again, it's not a scientifically calculated number, but you will see that, you know, on, on 75 to 80% of your trades, uh, you will come out with uh, pretty good winners uh, when you follow a method, when you follow a methodology and you know exactly what to do. The only question is, when do you pull the trigger? And that is a decision, of course, that every options trader has to make. But the point is, you're trading with the system. You're trading with some kind of an approach. You're not approaching the market on an ad hoc basis on a daily basis. So that's really the key. So let's talk about the iron condo strategy. Uh, as an example, I want to uh, take the iron condo because the iron condo is a very popular strategy and for good reason. There are many, many pluses of the iron condo. First of all, we get double credit from the bear call and the bull put. It's non-directional, at least when it starts. Uh, obviously, when the stock starts moving, um, your delta starts building, whether it's a positive delta or a negative delta. However, when you start off the trade, it is non-directional. So we're not picking direction. So that's a great, that's a great feature of the iron condo. Now, because we have doubled the credit, we obviously have reduced margins and reduced risks, uh, you know, even more so than credit spreads. Because if you just have one credit spread, whether it's a, the bull put or the bear call, uh, you have higher margin and you have higher risk than uh, the iron condo because the iron condo gets you credit from the other side as well. And perhaps the greatest feature of the iron condor is you have double time decay in your in you know in your trade. So uh, you know time decay is quite uh, you know is is quite attractive with iron condors. Uh, so these are all the positives of the iron condor. On the flip side, we have a lot of negatives also. So the you know one of the big negatives of the iron condor is that it cannot handle a sudden large move on either side. So it might start out non-directional, it might start out delta neutral. However, a large move either to the upside or the downside can hurt the iron condor. So you'll see paper losses. Uh, it's also a double Vega negative because we have two credit spreads. And so a spike in volatility will hurt. But perhaps the most devastating aspect of the iron condor is the what I call the gamma snowballing effect. So as the stock, what I mean is as the stock is moving, and if you've traded iron condors, you you know, you'll see this. You know, the white line starts your real-time profit and loss starts going into loss very quickly. And the the further it is towards uh, towards one of your uh, uh, your short strike prices, you'll see that your losses are accumulating even faster and faster. And that is because it's a negative gamma position and gamma is just accumulating, it's snowballing. And that effect is probably the most devastating aspect of the iron condor. And it is precisely at that time where we traders tend to make adjustment errors. We, uh, we, we might close it out. We might panic and close out the position itself. We might do something else. What, you know, whatever we do, you'll see that 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 is where 
the iron condor gets into trouble. So you might have two or three successful iron condor trades. However, the one time it, it goes against you, you'll see that you're going to give it back. And this should not be surprising because we know that the market maker has an edge. So, you know, if we win three or four times, then how, how does the market maker have an edge? Uh, the market maker has an edge because, you know, statistically one out of those four times we, we give it back. And so, you know, and, you know, these, you probably heard that the, in, in the options market or, or more broadly in the stock market, you know, you'll have 80 to 90% losers. So my point is, you know, I don't know how true it is, but I'm pretty sure, you know, those uh, numbers are pretty accurate because, uh, of all these different factors and therefore it, it it's very important that we approach trading with you know with the mindset that we need to have an edge so these are the negatives of the iron condor and so iron condor is one of my favorite strategies i've been trading it for five six seven years now and when i started thinking about the iron condor I realized that, you know, that we have to find a way to neutralize the negative. So if you look at, if you go by, if I go back to the previous slide, you have to find ways to neutralize these, you know, because if you, if you cannot neutralize these negative aspects, then uh, you don't have a method, you don't have a system. Uh, so that's how the Condor Max system has come. It, you know, it starts off non-directional. It can profit from a move in either direction. Uh, and one of the other things with the iron condor is that, you know, if, if there is some kind of a flash crash, uh, you know, like we saw two, three years ago, uh, then that, that will uh, produce uh, big losses for the iron condor. And so, you know, I, the way the condor max uh, system is designed, it is flash crash proof and we're not get we don't get scared of big moves in either direction and this is one of the most important uh, you know considerations is that even if the losses are temporary it must not create massive losses so you know the condor max system is designed uh, for that kind of a, of a feature so when we put the condor max we are not afraid of big moves we are not afraid of flash crashes uh, we are not afraid of the gamma factor you know all of that so you know that's the that's the basic design of the uh, you know of the condor max it combines um, you know various plus points of the iron condor straddles time decay volatility all of that and the condor max comes with four or five basic adjustment techniques and um, uh, many of these techniques can be automated also meaning like you can put a conditional order on um, you know on the on you know on your trade and uh, you you can do that. Not everything can be automated. There are some decision points that we have to make uh, when we make what what I call major adjustments. So if you look at the Iron Condor as a monthly income strategy, uh, then you're probably looking at two you know two maybe three major adjustments every month. Um, the system itself to, is designed uh, to get, uh, you know, about five to ten percent. Sometimes it does more. Sometimes, you know, worst case, you can, you or you should have an opportunity to exit with three percent. So, the Condor Max, the course where the product uh, itself includes live trades and shows you how you can get about eight to fourteen percent on each of the on each of these trades. And most importantly, like I said, it tackles all the negatives of Iron Condors. And then by definition, if you can tackle the negatives of an iron condor, you're basically tackling uh, the negatives of credit spreads as well. So, you know, with the condor max, you can put credit spreads, iron condors as much as you want. And as long as you follow the principles of the, you know, or, or the method, uh, you, you know, you should be able to make every iron condor pay a, a, a positive return. Um, I say worst case is 2%, 3%, uh, but many times, you know, not many times, most of the times, if you're careful enough, you can do much more than that. So that's, you know, that's basically what the uh, Condor Max system is. Similarly, Income Max, we have two systems. One is the spread system and one is the straddle system. Again, it's the same principle. You know, we all do spreads, whether it's debit spreads or credit spreads. However, you know, uh, and sometimes it goes in our favor and sometimes it doesn't. Same thing with the straddle. The straddle is a great strategy. It's again a, a non-directional, uh, you know, uh, trade. Uh, you can benefit from either direction, but they all have negatives, right? So in a straddle, you have double, uh, you know, time decay, double negative time decay. So time decay is working against us in a in a straddle. Similarly, in a debit spread, the problem is it's directional. If it doesn't go, uh, you know, in our favor, then you're going to see a loss. 
credit spread is the same thing is the same thing like an iron condor so all these all these strategies have pluses and minuses and so you have to tackle the minuses so all the proprietary systems here have the ability to tackle the minuses so you know you can use uh, the spread system the straddle system they all come with uh, key intellectual property uh, risk management is core to both of these systems and then of course we need to have adjustment techniques because you know if the trade is going in your favor then there's nothing to adjust you know it, it's very simple you you you, uh, you know how to manage the trade you know how to take the profit however where the problem comes is okay what happens if it goes against you in some way uh, and so you know the, the um, uh, you know and, and and so that's where adjustments comes in now, and see that's the plus and, and minus of you know with options you know if you're if you're trading stocks there's nothing to adjust you know you, know, you can't do anything whereas with options you have a hundred different ways of adjusting so all of this has gone through a lot of research and development and so the best adjustment techniques are included with each system and also some guidelines as to when do we okay you know if we put a spread uh, yeah, uh, uh, you know when uh, when will you uh, uh, when will you adjust you know so those are that is all part of the um, yeah, that is all part of the system. So I'm seeing some questions here. Yeah, I've, uh, you know, please post your questions. I forgot to mention this. Uh, I'll run through the presentation and then we'll tackle all of the questions at the end. So, but if you think of a question while in the middle, go ahead and type it in and we'll get to all of them. Okay, so the all of these systems have these adjustment techniques. And so you're not, you know, we're not experimenting. Oh, sh you know, should I adjust it this way? Should I adjust it that way? No, there's no experimentation. What, you know, what you're given is a method and you just follow the method. Uh, of course, the decision making when to do it is obviously up to each trader. There's nothing we can do However, because options on, you know, options are not um, what I call a black box uh, financial instrument. So, for example, if, uh, with stocks or with futures, you can develop black box systems. So, you know, it's algorithmic. Uh, you can feed the system into some kind of a program and then, you know, trading happens in an automated manner, similar to what high frequency trading guys do. But, you know, but with options, it's very difficult to do that because there are many moving parts. Um, first of all, there are all these different strike prices. Then there are, you know, the time decay is changing on a daily basis. The volatility is changing on a daily basis. So there are too many parameters to make option systems a black box system. Um, but and so human human intervention is required. And so you know you you do need to know, uh, you know, when to adjust. And that is the decision point that uh, you know uh, that you'll be facing. But if, if you don't approach it in a systematic manner. There are two issues here, you know, the, uh, then there are two challenges. One is when do you do the adjustment and, uh, and what do you do in the adjustment? So, you know, what is the adjustment that you're going to do? So, and that is more of the problem. You know, what is the, if you don't know what to do, that is a b bigger problem than knowing when to do it. You know, if you know what to do, that is key. Then it's just a matter of pulling the trigger. So the system comes with, uh, you know, all these techniques and uh, all of the systems come with that. So you do, you know, for every um, of uh, for every one of these uh, uh, proprietary trading systems, you will always find that risk management and adjustments are part of that. All right. So now those are the options trading systems. I do have another options trading system, which is the earnings max. We'll come to that. But now we're talking about the a, a day trading system, an intraday trading system here is you know this is a chart based uh, a signal based system so the um, the emphasis is not on options you can you can perhaps use the day, day trade max system to even trade stocks or futures or anything else however the day trade max system gives you uh, gives you the signals gives you the highly customized indicators um, and once you set up your charts that way uh, it'll you you'll see the signals happening in front of you. So these signals are powerful. Uh, the day trade max system is for intraday trade, so it does require an active trader approach. Uh, so if you are a, a trader that do not have time during market hours, then the day trade max system is not for you. Um, you it may be for you if you can you know 
you know allocate two three hours at least because most trades are over in a matter of hours so uh, in in fact i mean and some trades may be over in a matter of minutes because sometimes the signal is very strong the move ha happens right away and you take the profit um, but it is an intraday system at the end of the day so here also the goal is you want to get you know seven to eight winners out of ten uh, the adjustment techniques and the risk management techniques are also included in this product as well. Uh, similar to the day trade max system is the swing trade max. And the only difference between the day trade, uh, uh, there's actually two differences. Uh, you know, the swing trade max system, obviously, as the name suggests, uh, it, the trade can go from anywhere from a few days to a few weeks. Um, the second difference is you, we use different indicators because there are some indicators that are more um, that provide more value in the intraday uh, uh, trading environment, whereas in the swing trade environment, uh, there are different indicators that provide uh, the signals. However, the one good thing about the swing trade max system is that you get perfect entry as well as exit signals. Okay, so this is important. You get you it. The system tells you when to exit from the trade. In the day trading system, getting an exit signal is a little challenging because day trading, by its very nature, is choppy. So there's a lot of noise in an intraday trading environment. You know, you've probably if you've seen if you followed the markets or a stock intraday, you know it goes up and down. It goes up and down. Granted, there might be a, a trend in one direction, but it's never smooth. It's never a straight line. It, it's it's always very choppy, and that's just the nature of intraday trading. There's uh, you know it's got nothing to do with the system. All intraday trading systems will have that kind of a limitation because day trading by its very nature is a bit choppy. But the swing trade here, we are not looking at intraday charts. Uh, you know, what we are looking at is, uh, is, is daily charts. So we'll be looking at a one month chart or a three month chart, something like that. And um, we're looking at in each bar on the chart will be uh, a one day's action. And so once you look at the chart on a daily chart, um, or rather, once you look at the stock on a daily chart, you'll see that there is much less noise. And and, and that's why uh, the swing trading system will give you uh, a, a very good signal for both entries as well as exits. Um, same same objectives you know all the other all, all the other aspects are very similar our goal is to get seven to eight clear winners uh, and you restrict your loser to maybe 15 or 20 percent losses and then on the winners we make 30 to 80 percent so in both cases um, we are going to win in two ways one is we are going to have a lot more winners than losers so you know somewhere in the range of seven to eight winners out of ten uh, and 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 the other way we win is when we when we have a winner we want to make more than what we lose on the loser so we make money two ways and both these systems are designed uh, with that kind of a feature and and uh, so you'll see uh, you'll see again you'll see trades you can uh, look up the uh, you know the, you, uh, when you get into the product you'll see all the trades uh, that we did uh, you'll get all the signals how to customize it how to manage the risk, what happens if the trade goes against you, uh, when do you hold the trade, you know, in the case of day trade max, when do you hold the trade uh, overnight, you know, how you, all, all, the, all, all the different things uh, are covered in these systems. Finally, our, um, Option Tiger released uh, earnings max about uh, a few months ago, three, four months ago. And we are right now actually in the perfect timing for this earnings max product because as you know uh, earnings season just kicked off this past week alcoa reported and in this upcoming week we have some of the big financials jp morgan citigroup uh, and even google is reporting this uh, yeah, this coming week um, so earnings you know earnings is another uh, first of all earnings you know nobody knows which way you know whether the stock is going to report good earnings or not whether the stock is going to go up or not however what earnings max is a um, is a product that looks at four types of trades that are most suited for you know during the earnings season and you know you can put some trades before some trades during the earnings event and some trades after the earnings event. 
there are four categories of trades that are most suited for certain stocks and so all of that is analyzed you know, uh, you know and when i say categories of trades i'm i'm thinking uh, you know i'm i'm referring to things like you know we all know that volatility gets bumped up before the earnings event so how can we take advantage of the volatility bump up that's going to happen in the two or three weeks prior to the earnings event and which type of stocks are most suited for the volatility bump kind of trade we also know that after the earnings event the, the, that same volatility gets crushed the next day you know it it gets crushed pretty bad and so how can we take advantage of the volatility crush trades what is the methodology we use what kind of stocks will the volatility crush trade work on you know so on and so forth so there's like four four types of trades and there are six actually different trades or uh, different trading strategies and we also discuss what are the kinds of stocks that each of these trades will work on. Um, as part of any earnings, um, you know, uh, trade, uh, you know, you always need to understand a uh, very uh, at a very detailed level how implied volatility and time decay into, uh, are interplaying in those uh, because that's very critical for the earnings report. So that. Uh, you know, uh, uh, that is done as well. So there's a very uh, detailed analysis of the interplay between uh, volatility and time decay. So that's part of the earnings max. You, you'll get about six different trading types. There's examples with that and you can get access to all of that. Um, finally, we also have the Option Tiger courseware. And I, I can tell you from just my experience uh, in the past couple of years with, op, you know, running Option Tiger itself, um, I can't begin to tell you how many emails, how many hundreds of emails I've received where people do not know what they're doing and they take a trade. Um, you know, they might be losing hundreds of dollars. They might be losing thousands of dollars on that trade. And it, it, it is all because of simple mistakes, simple things, you know, options the learning the learning part of options is not to be ignored you know don't do not skimp on the education now uh, you know we do have 47 courses it takes anybody from a beginner to advanced levels most courses are one to two hours long so there's over 100 hours of courses there are bundles available by level so if you're a beginner you can look at the beginner uh, level bundle uh, there's intermediate there's advanced there's all of that my point is you know really if you're going to trade options make sure you have the education behind it because it's a game of chess it's not possible for you or me to sit in front of gary kasparov and try to win a chess game with him it's not possible and that is exactly what we are doing when we enter the options market the market maker on the other side of us is gary kasparov they are experts expert option traders so we are literally going against a grand master when we enter the options market so you know we need to have we need to have our best uh, best game uh, and the only way you can get it with options because options are so mathematical there's they've got a lot of things is to not skimp on the education so option tiger all courses on option tiger are 29 dollars i i can tell you i'm not telling you just because it's my courses I can tell you this is some of the most cutting edge stuff you'll find for $29. So please take a look at that as well. Um, I just wanted to briefly cover a, uh, a product matrix, uh, you know, matrix, uh, so that, you know, if you, if, if you happen to be at these levels, what are the different proprietary systems you could be looking at? So if you're a beginner, then, you know, the, the courseware, the income max and the swing trade max will work for you. If you're at the intermediate advanced level, courseware, in, uh, courseware income max, condor max, swing trade max, all of that uh, will work. Uh, then if you're an active trader, again, you know, depending on your level, it could be all. Um, if you're a part-time trader, if you have a busy job, if you have 94 is not possible, uh, you, can, you can look at all except the day trade max. The day trade max is the only one where you need uh, to be active in the markets. All right. So um, then finally, um, with all of these products, what you're going to get is very superior options trading knowledge. So regardless of which product you buy, uh, the product itself has very detailed, um, uh, you know, what do you call very detailed uh, uh, studies of all the concepts that are involved in that product. So and 
the good thing is you can take this knowledge and apply it to any trade you know even if you're not trading so for example uh, you know if you bought the condor max system for example you're going to learn options trading techniques in the condor max system that you can apply to any other trade as well you know so tomorrow if you're putting a calendar you know you you know you you have these techniques and you can apply the so your general options trading skills are going to be become fairly sophisticated so uh, and that's because my approach to uh, teaching is that i want to teach you to fish you know i i i do not want to feed you fish so my approach is uh, you you take options seriously uh, all the courses all the products have very detailed coverage of uh, all the all the topics the concepts everything that's required uh, to be successful with those strategies so these tactics can be used for any trades and most importantly what you're doing is you're taking a systematic approach to options trading so for example if you can if 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 you see that a stock is trending in one direction uh, you can you can apply the income max spreads uh, uh, you know strategy uh, if you know stocks are volatile if they are in play then you do the straddle strategy if they are flat or range bound you can do the condor max you can do the day trade max if they are overbought oversold you look for the swing trade max and earnings max max of course is only for the earnings season but you have six different earnings trades that you can apply to most stocks over there most importantly like we first discussed well, like a first mention in the webinar most importantly what you're doing with you know with these systems is that you are setting yourself up for a consistent performance both for the short term if you're looking at whether it's day trading or weekly or you know income or two weekly income or monthly income and also for the long term because bear in mind you know transaction costs mistakes that we make um you know panic moves all of that hurt us and so you know we might do well this week or next week but what about the long term meaning like one year two years you know is your is your graph going up uh is it are you accumulating profits are you accumulating wealth uh, and and that's important too and so when you take a systematic approach to options trading what you're doing is giving yourself that opportunity to perform consistently both for the short term as well as the long term all right so let's get into our sale this is this would have come out last week actually july 4th but uh, basically i'll uh, i'll i'll release it now um, this uh, sale is available until tuesday july 15th which is day after tomorrow there's 30% on all products 30% off um, income max spreads and straddles are 197 each regular price uh, until tuesday you're going to pick it up at 129 they have a coupon code and it's all very simple the, if you want the spread system it the coupon code is spreads 30 if you want the straddle system it is straddles 30 condor max is also 30% off so uh, the regular price is 397 you can pick it up for 279 uh, again the coupon code is condor 30 uh, day trade max swing trade max earnings max they are all regular 297 each uh, and here uh you have the day 30 the swing 30 and earnings 30 those are the coupon codes and you can get 30% off let me just quickly show you if you haven't seen the option tiger website um you know here it's all there uh, you know you, it's all categorized you can see it so if you click on proprietary systems um that's where all these systems are so let's say if you wanted to get the income max which is 197 uh you'll click on the income max and then you can you can click redeem coupon right here so yes i will be uh, yeah uh, uh, yeah I'll, i'll i'll get to all the questions yeah the uh, you know you can click uh, the redeem coupon and then you just put you know if it this is income max straddles you'll just put straddles 30 and that will automatically take 30% off uh, from this uh, uh, from this price so that's uh, you know it's a it, it's it, it's a great price i think uh, you know you're going to get some very sophisticated intellectual property um i the the important thing like i said is that you need to have an edge whether it's edge from these kind from these systems from option tiger whether it's an edge that you've developed yourself whether it's an edge from that you've picked up from some other product whatever the case might be if you're simply trading options without a systematic approach i can tell you it's going to be very difficult to make money in the long run in the long run we obviously we can have great trades uh on a day to day basis 
but the statistically the edge will always go to the market maker because it's no different from the casinos in fact it's even worse than the casinos the edge that the options market makers have uh, are all um, much more than the casino operators so you know, it's like you know if you go to play blackjack and you keep playing there day after day after day uh, you're you're slowly going to give that edge back, and I know that's why the casinos want you to stay overnight. They'll give you a room. You know, if if you're a big winner, they'll they'll give you a room overnight. They'll give you free food, free booze, you know, everything. And uh, and the reason is they want you to come back the next day and play with them because they know that you'll give that you'll give that money back. And that's the statistical edge that's working. So that's what I had. Let's uh, we can jump into uh, Q and A. Anytime, if you have any questions, you can always email me at uh, info at optiontiger.com. Um, you know, I, I answer all of the emails personally myself uh, when I get time, uh, which is usually within most, most of the time it's within the same day. But uh, any, any, any questions you have, you can always email info at optiontiger.com. All right, I see quite a few questions have already come in. So let me just take a quick look, uh, pause for a second, drink some water, and let's take the questions. If you if you think of any questions, uh, please uh, you know type it in, and uh, we'll you know we can stay here as long as we want. Uh, I enjoy doing these webinars and discussing it with uh, traders. So uh, feel free to type in all your questions. I'll I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> All right, let's get to the questions. Um, first question, George, is iron, isn't is iron condor also an income trade? It is an income trading strategy. So the question is, isn't iron condors also an income trading strategy? It is an income trading strategy. Uh, in fact, uh, an iron condor is nothing but an in income uh, trading strategy. Uh, don't confuse it with the name income max. Um, you know, it's, it's just, you know, you have to name products differently, but, uh, you know, you can think of it as the iron condor system, the spread system and the straddle system. Uh, but uh, yes, of course, the iron condor is an income. The, see, the problem with the iron condor is that, you know, we, we take in if you're looking at a ten thousand dollar trade, for example, you know you, you're going to get credit of maybe fifteen hundred, two thousand, some you know somewhere there. So the risk in the iron condor is much more than the credit that you receive in the iron condor. So it's very important to protect that because one trade will give up you know four or five trade profits, and so it's critical if you're trading iron condor, which is a great strategy. I mean, I trade iron condors all the time, and I I can tell you it's a, it's a fantastic strategy. I love it, but you have to be careful that the one time you don't give everything back. And the problem is, uh, you know, this was the most frustrating aspect for me when I was trading iron condos was that, you know, you have great trades, but one trade, you give it back. And it, it used to kill me. And, you know, that's what uh, made me have sleepless nights. And how can we tackle this iron condo problem? Uh, and, uh, you know, that's how that's what got me started along the propriety and, and of course once you understand the market structure once you understand that you're playing against a casino uh, you know the other party has the edge and and you know once you are you, once you grasp that then it becomes clear that you know you have to approach it with an edge uh, you know in the casinos you cannot approach anything with an edge uh, the only thing is you can cheat in the casinos and they'll catch you and throw you out but in the, in the options market you know it's a game of skill so you can come with some sophisticated techniques in your hand and that is the way to win in the options market will you be giving examples tom yes all the products have real life trades on them so you know like the condo max will have four trades i think i believe the income max also has uh, spreads as at least two trades and the straddle tra has two trades and even the earnings max all of them have um, have uh, 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 sample trades in them is there a dividend max trading system uh, no george I, I i don't know i can't think of a dividend max uh, trading system uh, i think uh, looks like you might be interested in stocks that have to see you know when you trade with when you trade in stocks that have that that give, that give out dividends it complicates the options market also because uh, you know the call options will go down when a when a dividend is released, and uh, I believe the I mean uh, yeah the call option will go down and the puts uh, go up. 
and, and so it, it sort of skews the skews the game. So I actually don't like dividend paying stocks uh, when you're trading the options market. I, I don't trade them. So all the stocks that we trade, even in our day trade max and swing trade max systems, uh, all the stocks that we trade are stocks that do not issue dividends at all. Um, can you send out an email, Kevin says, which products are good for beginners and the sale price? Yeah, I'll, it's, it's very clearly laid out here, uh, Kevin. Options beginner, okay? So if you come to the options beginner, you'll see that, you know, it takes, if you're a total beginner in the financial markets, what I would recommend, what I would highly recommend, you can go through all of these, of course. What I would highly recommend is the um, options, options beginners bundle right here. So this is, uh, there's a lot of free courses here, by the way, folks. Uh, you know, there's plenty of free courses that you can sink your teeth into. Uh, the Options Beginners Bundle is a set of 14 courses right there. And it starts from, you know, introduction to call options, put options. All these are, I, I don't mean to blow my own on, I can tell you, these are cutting edge courses and they're all uh, available for $29. And if you get a bundle, you get another, um, you know, I think what uh, it's... Um, I believe it's 30% off with the bundle. So uh, you get a 30% uh, discount if you get the bundle. They are all real cutting edge stuff. I can tell you that. Uh, are the in indicators you use included with the training or that with additional purchase? No, 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 no. It's all in in included with the product itself. So if you're looking at the, um, if you're looking at, let's say the, the day trade max system, for example, um, this, uh, you can look at, you, you can watch these videos and everything over here. You get the complete day trade max uh, with all the indicators, all the customization. Everything is given over here. All right. So you can, uh, yeah. So uh, uh, there's nothing held back. You know, you, 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 once you get the product, you, you have everything that you need. Of course, if you have questions, you always send me an email. No issues, but um, but you can always look at that. Do you teach how to scan for the trade setups of your products? How to scan? No, there's the, the, the trade setups, how to scan for the trade setups, meaning uh, in terms of the, the indicators, yes. But if you're asking me which stocks should I trade, no, that is up to you, obviously. You can trade any stock, whatever stocks you're comfortable with. Always know the stocks that you're trading. Yeah, you know, I can tell you that as a general uh, piece of advice is it's good to know the DNA of the stocks that you trade. So, for example, for me, I, I, I'll tell you the truth. I trade only the SPX, the NDX, the Russell, um, and I also trade about 10 stocks. That's it. Uh, you know, Apple, Google, Priceline, Netflix, Chipotle, Facebook, Tesla, Amazon, Baidu. That's it. Uh, I don't trade any other any other stocks. Why? Because I know exactly how these stocks trade. I know what is a good move for the stock. I know what is a bad move. I, I know what is a good level to buy, what is a good level to sell. Uh, I know what their general volatility is. I know what their bid ask spread is. I know what their open interest and their volume is on a daily basis. It's important to know this, you know. If, so, you know, I'm not a big fan of scanning for stocks to trade because, you know, you'll come up with in your scan, you'll come up with symbols that you've never heard of and you, you have no idea, you know, what is going, you know, what is this company? Uh, just because it showed up on your scan, you know, is, you know, should you trade it? My opinion is no, but of course, you know, that is just my opinion. Anybody can do what they want, but my opinion is it is, it is always good to know the DNA of the stocks that you trade. What platform? They are, they work on any platform, Brian. Uh, it doesn't matter which, which, uh, uh, you know, which trading platform you use because these are all commonly used indicators. Okay. So let me, you know, when I say proprietary and highly customized indicators, we are using indicators that are available on all charting platforms. However, what we do is, you know, all indicators have settings and we customize these settings. It, it is highly customized and uh, to give us the perfect kind of signal. And, and again, how does this customization happen? It's happened through trial and error, through experimentation, through R&D over a period of months and, you know, and, and finally I've come to, uh, you know, the kind of settings that, uh, that work best uh, whether it's for a day trading environment or a swing trading environment, uh, what are the settings that work best? And so you know, all of that has come over many, many months of uh, trial and error and uh, R&D. All right. 
in the day trade max and swing trade max systems do you use options or stocks as the trading instruments very good question uh, i use options but you could use it for stocks you could use it for options you could use it for futures it doesn't matter because it's a signaling system it's a chart based signaling system so as long as the stock that you use uh, is signaling a buy or a sell you can do you can you can apply it to any uh, any of the instruments so that's a great question but that that only works for the day trade max and swing trade max systems all the other systems that we spoke of are are option specific systems now the day trade max and swing trade max the products itself if you buy the product what is shown inside these systems are options examples because again within these there is some very critical intellectual property uh, that applies to options uh, the way we maximize the profit the way we um, you know uh, uh, contain the risk all of that there are some specific things to options however if you're just looking at the signals if you're just looking at the charts you can of course use it on stocks as well as futures um, yeah, and you know the for the day trade max and swing trade max system you don't need very sophisticated understanding of options okay so that is because it's a chart based system it, you know if you get the signal you're going to take a trade so um the um you know so so what you're looking at is fairly simple options based systems but however you know if you're comfortable with stocks or futures you can you can apply it to that as well yeah any course for weekly options i have a here let me show you what i have is a course uh, for weekly options it's it's not really weekly options but it's in the intermediate uh, module and it it uh, you know i i look i the course itself is called options expiration dynamics so basically we look at the final uh, you know one week or two weeks and how and you know so basically it studies weekly options however this is not a product this is a course remember now my next product proprietary trading system is going to be on weekly options it it's going to be called weekly max and that will be released i would say in the next four four weeks or so i'm right now just begun uh creating the product for that and uh so the, you know that will be ready in about uh, four weeks or so again it will be priced very similar to all of these other ones all right next questions are these only classes or you send a uh, real time good question good question is there any free trial period month or no the, i don't have a newsletter uh magesh but what what i have is the for the swing trading system let's go back here yeah so i have monthly subscriptions for both the day trade max and the swing trade max the the i used to have even for the condor max i used to have the but the problem is people cannot follow exactly what i do uh, because those trades are evolving over a period of days and weeks and so people are not able to follow so there was you know almost always i found that everybody's trade is a little different and uh, because you know when we did some adjustment that you know that person was busy they didn't do something else and then you know when they came back to do it you know the stock had moved so now they have a very different uh, uh, you know position so it you know it it doesn't work that way and what i teach is a method it's a proprietary method it's intellectual property it's an approach that you can adopt for all your trading so you know that's how you have to look at it whereas the day trading and the swing trading these are trade alerts you know so so these actually render themselves very well to uh, the the trading alerts and those are available also you don't have to buy the product itself to uh, get in on the monthly service however i would recommend that you buy the product because it's always good to know why you're doing things and my philosophy is i teach you to fish and not feed you fish so i i would highly recommend that you buy the product and um once you buy the product you don't need this you don't need the subscription at all uh, if you buy the product and you've got everything you understood it you can do it on your own perhaps what might be uh, a decent uh, other alternative is you get the product and take maybe one month or two months of uh, you know of the service once your experience uh, you know once you've got the feel you know hang of it you can discontinue these are all monthly con you know there's no contract or anything like that 
Um, Alan says, with the Condor Max, do you provide your experience of the characteristics of those approximately 10 stocks that you have come to learn in detail? Um, I don't go into the into the open interest and volume and that kind of stuff, but I, I go into the uh, in, into all the characteristics of what makes a good, good, you know, how do you approach the iron condo trade? There are, and I can tell you right now, uh, there are two or three different approaches that you can take. And so those are the approaches. Um, and depending on whether the stock is moving, you know, in, in your favor or against you, uh, what are the techniques that you use? The risk management and the income generation techniques are, are the real intellectual property behind both of these, uh, b behind all of these systems. And so with the condo, see, when you're talking about Condor Max, you're talking about the iron condo trade. So, you know, the, the, the characteristics of the 10 stocks really doesn't um, come into play there. But I, I just told you that I deal with 10 stocks because, you know, I, that's just my, uh, you know, my personal uh, preference. Uh, I, I'll also tell you another thing that I do is I don't have more than at the most two trades open at any given time because my, my personal uh, temperament, I, I, I cannot, if, if I have three, four, five positions in my, in my portfolio at any given time, I get confused. Uh, you know, uh, I, I, I get stuck like with a, uh, uh, like a deer, uh, you know, in headlights, uh, you, because many times, especially if the market is moving crazily, you find that all of these stocks are going in the same direction. Uh, and so you're having to adjust all these different positions and, the, and that drives me crazy. However, I know other people that can manage 10 positions, 15 positions at a time. So it's more of a personal uh, thing that I, you know, mentioned about the 10 stocks. Um, you know, you're free to obviously do uh, do whatever that uh, makes you better. But, uh, you know, it, it's just my, this thing is that. But I feel, one thing I feel strongly about is whatever stock you trade, make sure you know its DNA. And the DNA is simple. You know, okay, what is the bid ask spread? So if you ask me on Baidu today, I know what the bid ask spread is. What is its normal volatility? What is its high, you know, if the volatility is high, you know, how much is it? Whether it's Baidu or Priceline or Google, I know it. And so, you know, when I see something out of the ordinary, I, I can recognize it right away. And so that's the, um, that's the advantages of knowing the DNA of this. George says, do you need options view or options net? No, 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 you don't need anything. Uh, you, uh, you don't need any, any additional. You can use your, um, you can, you uh, what, let me ask you this, George, what platform do you normally use? Because that's important, uh, because some pl platforms are obviously better than, uh, you know, others. If you use Thinkorswim, you don't need anything else. I can tell you that. But I don't know much about some of the other platforms. Uh, maybe some platforms are not as, as good as Thinkorswim, so you might need some extra add-on uh, stuff. But uh, if, if you use Think, I, I, I've been using Thinkorswim for years now. And I find its analysis skills are really top notch, and I, f I, I don't find the need to uh, add anything on at that level. You use IB, TOS, and LiveWall. Okay, if you use TOS, you're good, you're great. Um, IB is great for execution, IB is great, and even on commissions. Um, the TOS is, uh, the, I, I feel TOS's biggest plus point is its analysis skills, you know, the way we put it on the risk graph uh, and look at your position. So that I think is uh, really good with TOS, but I actually like IB for execution. So meaning, you know, the ease of execution, like in TOS, if you have to go change an order, you have to go right click it, uh, you know, change the order, put a new price, uh, press the submit button and then confirm the order. There's like eight different steps. Whereas with IB, if you want to change your order, it's right there. You just change the price and boom, that's it. So some of those aspects of IB is very good. Uh, LiveWall, of course, is uh, the uh, you know is, uh, is 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 a fantastic uh, uh, product, and uh, you know that's great. But but you really don't need. I mean, for all of these systems, if you if, if you use TOS, you're good. How long is the discount good for? It's good until Tuesday, uh, uh, William. Uh, let me just go back to the presentation here. Just make sure. Everybody got it. Um, yeah, Tuesday, July fifteenth. So you have another forty-eight hours for uh, for this. It's 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 all thirty percent off, um, and uh, for all of these products. 
Um, I offer email support. Yeah, if you buy a product, if you have a question, uh, yeah, certainly you can send me an email. I, I unfortunately don't have time to offer coaching because I uh, I'm also a trader. Uh, I also do a couple of, uh, you know, um, uh, a very small limited number of friends and family accounts as well. I ma so I manage about two or three accounts as well. So my time is fairly limited. Uh, but any question you have on, on the, on the, uh, will there be a volatility max system? Yes, yes, I think there will be, uh, George. Good question. Um, the, yeah, so, you know, any question you have, always feel free to, to send me an email. Um, if you if you have a question on a position that you're managing, send me an image of your risk graph uh, because that uh, you know picture is worth a thousand words. So if you send me a risk uh, a picture of your risk graph along with your question, uh, I I'll generally I I, re I reply to every, you know all all emails on the same day. Um, so you know feel free to go ahead and do that. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. Will there be a volatility max? That's cool. All right, folks, any other questions? Which email address should I use? Oh, info at option tiger. If you, if you need to send me an email, just use uh, info at option tiger .com. That that's, uh, that would be perfect. If you have any questions, you can send it to me there. You can do info at option tiger, hurry at option tiger. I, I get all of those emails. So all of them come to the same place. Okay, folks, uh, if it, there's no further questions, let's get back to our Sunday evening. I, um, if you do think of something, just send me an email. No issues there, and we'll take it from there. Uh, but these are uh, some very good uh, discounts, very good uh, on some uh, you know, phenomenal uh, uh, intellectual property, I can tell you that. So uh, feel free to take advantage. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Otherwise, I'll speak to everybody soon. Uh, hope everybody has a great night. Thanks for stopping by and uh, thanks for uh, attending the webinar. All right. I'll speak to you everyone soon. Good night.